Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? <laughs> Hello. Running a little bit behind, kind of. I'm trying to figure out some sound here. Everything on the game seems a lot louder now. And I don't understand why. So hopefully I don't blow myself out of here. I have a feeling it is seems so loud. I'm going to turn the master volume down a bit. I don't know why it's that way. I don't know. <laughs> don't know, folks. Make sure everything else is around the way it's supposed to. Yup, it is. All right. Craziness. All right. What do you say we get going? <laughs> Gotta look up my stream on. Ah, look at my stream on Facebook. That is not what I wanted to do. There it is. Now the Facebook stream's being a little bit behind. Not by much. All right. Well, that was distressing. Did you see that? See Vivek fall and then a spirit come out? That is just... That's... That was rough to see. This all seems so loud. I'm probably going to have... To, I'm going to need to adjust the volume. I just know it. Let's talk to her just to see what the volume is. Do what you can for Vivek. I'll pray to Azura for guidance. Then I might go and poke around the Archcanon's office. See if he left anything behind that might shed some light on this terrible situation. It's not too bad. Let's see. Let's try Vivek. See, even now in Vivek's present state, he's using his power to keep uh, Bardow in the sky. That's why I like Vivek so much. <clears throat> Plus, he just looks cool and he sounds cool. Yeah, I don't know why my game sounds are back to being. They're not. They're not loud. They're just a little bit before where they would start being loud. Um, should we go back inside? We saw that. That's Vivek's power holding that at bay. See? And Red Mountain is really pissed. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta find this overseer. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> Oof. All right. Well, <laughs> I know you probably all aren't too happy with me leaving, leaving it where I did. But now the city is in chaos. Not really chaos, more panic than anything. Just raw panic. Red Mountain is on the verge of erupting. Bardow's about ready to crash into the city. Vivex on the verge of death. Where's the overseer? Oh, there we go. Just took a bit for it to load up, I guess. My wife 
decides to run out and chase some damned looters in the middle of a disaster. Who does that sort of thing? You'd think Lord Vivek's overseer would have a clearer head. The overseer? I need to find her for Lord Vivek. She ran into the unfinished cantons. She's been beating herself up over the fact that they're behind schedule, but she won't do anyone any good if she gets herself killed. My wife's tough as nails, but she's no warrior. I'll find the overseer and make sure she's all right. So I talked to a construction worker. Well, here's a construction worker. We barely got out of there alive. I can't believe the overseer's still in there. What's she going to do when the canton sinks into the bay? The overseer's still at the construction site? Yes. The overseer ran in there when she saw the looters. We tried to follow, but then the moonlit began raining fire, ash, and chunks of rock. Last I saw, she was chasing the looters into the far canton. Why would the looters risk their own lives? Greed is a powerful motivator. We left tools and materials just sitting around, unprotected, when the priests ordered everyone to get off the streets. The looters happily risk their lives if there's a profit to be made. Well, alrighty then. Now let's... Let's... Ooh, construction site open. Well, let's see if we can... That's probably the poor glory. No, wait, that's somebody else? Okay, that's unusual. Um, I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go. Okay, where? Well, there goes my phone. Slid on, onto the floor. Thanks to my chair being leaned too far forward. There we go. Well, that did not help. Crazy chair. Um. Well, it looks like I might be in the right place. I hope I am. Guess I'll find... Apparently, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> Whoa. I think my inventory's full. <laughs> I heard somebody say that bitter green was undercooked. Everyone's in panic, and now there's somebody talking about bitter green. There's the overseer. Another looter. You want a taste of my steel too? No, wait. I remember you. You borrowed one of our blessing stones. Well, the arch cannon returned it after Lord Vivek was finished with it. So no need to fret about that. Lord Vivek needs to borrow the blessing stone again. That's impossible. We installed the blessing stone back in its canton and finished construction on that section a short time ago. Wait a moment. This have something to do with the chunks of rock raining down on the city. Let's just say it's vital that I get a blessing stone for Lord Vivek. I suppose you're in luck then. We happen to have another blessing stone. It's at the third canton. Here. This key will open the door to that portion of the construction site. Just watch out for more looters and the rocks falling out of the sky. <laughs> I met your wife. She seems worried about you. Verona? Was she still angry with me? No, you don't have to answer that. You know my wife. I'll head back and let her know I'm all right. Tell Lord Vivek he can have our blessing stone, as long as he promises to do something about Bar Dao. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, he's kind of trying. Vivek's like on the verge of death right now. And very few people know how badly he is. Wait, that sounded close. Because it was. <laughs> Whoa! 
Boy, that was loud. Oh, wow, there's more. I didn't realize how many chunks of Bardow there was. Or maybe Bardow's just the big one, and the little ones don't have names, but... Yeah, I am full. Damn! Eek, that was close. Um... Let's see, if I go into supplies... Shoot, none of those... Mm. I'm trying to find something I can use up so that way dang ah for pity's sake um let's see I know if I run away he's gonna hit it's granted it's just a leather jack there's nothing it's not worth much oh jeez um. Oh, another looter? I heard him. I heard the aggro. Okay, I don't know why he did that. So he had a leather jack. Alright, I'm gonna have to do the only thing I can. Collections, collections, um, allies, assistance, fezzes! Unburden your pack at a reasonable rate of trade. Yes, yes? <laughs> Alright, let's see. We are just gonna sell. Stuff that's, well, basically I'm not... Yeah, anything that's white. That's good enough for now. Fezzes, you can hang around if you want to. 3rd Canton. That made a whole lot of sense. She gave us a key. Not only did we not use the key, we pushed... And it went up. <laughs> okay. Oh, of course it's the long way around. It couldn't just be straightforward. Oh, well, I took care of you, didn't it? Oh yeah, I forgot. They kind of warn you. They put red circles on the ground where a piece of rock is gonna gonna hit. This way, it looks like. Oops. <laughs> Woo! That almost got ugly. Now we have to get out of here. trying to figure out how the hell to get out of here. I don't remember how. I'm just... Oh, for crying out loud. Should be... Yep, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with Moonlit. Why 
Why is that down there like that? That's weird. Oh, because the chambers are, are below. That's why. Okay, those are looters. Wait, did somebody see me? Yep. See what happens? Oh, wait. Darn it. Got myself twisted around. I swear, I came out here. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe this way? I don't know. Let's see. Um, Not really. Looks like we're supposed to go this way. Ah, door? Yep, Vexity. Goodness. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we have to go save... Try to... Save our friend. Coming, Vivek. <laughs> Somebody else is hot footing it up there. Jeez. That's so loud. See, there's Red Mountain putting all that smoke in the air. And there's Bardow. Mm, mm, mm. Well, something to see, though, wasn't it, coming out here? It's erupting. Lord Vivek, save us. <laughs> I still don't understand why the volume got loud. Louder. Sounds like the city is falling apart out there, so there isn't much time. Were you able to get another blessing stone? We need to restore some of Lord Vivek's energy before the moonlit falls out of the sky. I retrieved the blessing stone. Perfect. I can feel Lord Vivek's essence inside it. I hope I remember how to do this. You'd better stand back, just in case. All right. Ah, let's see what he does. Hang on, Lord Vivek. Sweet energy, like a sip of water for a thirsty man. Right. Oh, thank the three. Lord Vivek looks better already. Of course, the Blessing Stone is only a temporary measure. We still need to determine what to do about Barbus and the stolen energy. I'm ready to do whatever I can. As Lord Vivek has written, the bravest heart never falters. You are truly Vivek's champion. I didn't know if the Blessing Stone was going to work, but I appreciate your help. Now go and talk to Lord Vivek. I'm sure he has a plan to share with us. Okay, I'm sure he does. My time grows short. Don't worry, Vivek. We'll help you. Humanity emerges like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago. All to set the wheels in motion to steal my divine energy. He went to a lot of trouble just to steal your divine energy. Every move has a purpose. Stealing my energy sowed discord and disaster throughout the land. And ultimately revealed the location of the Clockwork City. If Barbus and his master can bypass the wards and enter Sotasil's domain... 
This has all been a, pl a ploy to find the Clockwork City. Clavicus Vile distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra to fight a Daedra. Azura's champion, Seren, in Archcanon's office. Seek guidance from her patron. But hurry, my time grows short. I'll find Saren and see if Azura can help us. Okay. I love how he said Lord Vivek looks better already. It's like, he's still a spirit floating above his lifeless body. He does not look good. <laughs> Still going to take a bit to get used to having the sound as loud as it is. I wish I knew what the heck happened. run. Actually, the only thing I could think of is I unplugged my headset so that way a uh, a, vi a, a Twitch video could be played on my TV, which I use as my monitor, and be able to be heard through the TV speakers. So, that's the only thing I could think of. Basically... Oh, Over here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all... <laughs> oh, Azura. Mortal, Mortal the, lady the Lady of Twilight, Twilight has, has words, words for you. I see that, Mistress. I wish I knew how to take a screenshot. It's just so annoying. Because it's so pretty. She looks so cool. I'm going to try to at least take a picture with my phone. It won't be the same. I won't be able to use it as, as a... Uh, um, a what's it? A thumbnail. But this is just such a cool picture. I've got to at least do it this way. Maybe I can do something with it later. Trying to zoom in and out just right. Oh, like I said, it probably won't turn. I probably won't be able to do anything with it. And oh, that was stupid me. There we go. Okay, I unplugged my phone, but I don't care. All right, let's talk to Azura. So Vivette deigns to ask for help. Saw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well, for if you continue to perform flawlessly, we might yet thwart the efforts of Clavicus Vile and his house. I love how they overlap Azura's voice with Saren's voice and not have it mesh. Uh, Lord Vivek said to ask you for guidance in this matter. Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Varvis seeks to enter the Clockwork City. So far, Sothisil's wars have impeded him, but the Hound has Sunra. You must beat him to the prize, the reservoir that holds Vivek's stolen energy. Do you know where the Clockwork City is located? Such knowledge has been hidden even from me, mortal. But I know someone who can provide you with the means to travel to Sota Sea's creation. Stand back, and I shall summon the mage of cogs and gears. All right. Mortal 
as you could tell, he was he was working on one of his inventions. Probably hit a button, flipped a switch, turned a wheel, and he ended up there. <laughs> it's like that shouldn't have happened. All right, let's talk to Bowser. I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? <laughs> no, the tonal inverter worked fine. Azura wants you to help me get to the Clockwork City. No, not going to happen. No offense to the Lady of Twilight, but Sophia Sewell was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait. There's still a full moon to place. This concerns Sunora and Lord Viveka, Yes. Barbus tricked us into draining Lord Vivek's divine energy. Barbus, another Daedra. Thinking, thinking. So, Sophia Seal's forgotten tools modified to steal Vivek's energy, which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Lit it up like the top of Red Mountain. Even Vile's dog would be able to see that. Can you get me to the Clockwork City or not? click into place the reservoir you need to reach the reservoir that contains vivek's stolen energy before barbers i can get us to the entrance in set's vault beneath the mournhold temple ready to go you're coming with me all right let's go you'll need my help i know the city almost as well as sofa seal follow me Uh -huh. I'm soul has blessed us both, Outlander. All right, I'm gonna talk to Saren again. The mother's soul, talking through me. Even after the tragedy of my brother, I am blessed. But time is running out for Vivek, for Vardenfell. You must follow Barrelzar and stop Barbus. Meanwhile, Zura has other work for me to do. <laughs> All right, let's go through the portal to Set's vault. <clears throat> that means we're inside Clockwork City. We won't actually get to see hardly any. I've never actually been, excuse me, like walked up to Clockwork City. So I've never seen it except for this area that we're all going to see, we're all going to take care of together. to get inside. We have to hurry. Daedra! Vile creatures of chaos! Deal with them, please. Mm, he said please. If you want to stay over there and fight, that's fine with me. I don't care. <clears throat> no, you don't. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Let's see which way we're we supposed to go. Well, actually, hey, I got an idea. Let's look at a map. <laughs> okay. So we. Woo -hoo -hoo. So it looks like we have to go this way. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was weird.
think we better... <clears throat> um, not collections, inventory. Let's see. Something... Give us a little bit more health. Oh, that's Barrelzar. I was trying to attack Barrelzar. Sorry, bud. Oh, do I have to talk to him? Defeat the Clockwork Guardian. Well, once I find the Clockwork Guardian, I will. Whoops. <laughs> that was slick. Got twisted around, went back the way I came. I don't see the Guardian yet. He's got to be close. Is that the Guardian? Yep, apparently it is. Hey, that was my mage that you just killed. That was uncalled for. Level 30 hero. <laughs> Oh, that's the oh, that's Clockwork City there. I forgot about that. I forgot that's how it was. Well, um, let's go ahead and go inside before I take the level because I don't want that guardian showing up again. Let's get this claimed. Three points. Pump them into, ma into Magicka. We get three skill points. What do I have? Um... Let's see. Grave Lord, what is that? A rapid rot. Increases your damage done with damage over time by 7%. Let's go ahead and do that. We got two more. Um, Bone Tyrant, I've got some of that. Actually, let's see. Destruction Staff. Wasn't there something here? What is that? Um. All right, so yeah, we'll we'll take that. We'll definitely take that. All right, so, um, what else do we have? Dynamic. What's dynamic? Increases your max magicka and max stamina. Okay, don't need the stamina, but yeah, let's let's take that. All right. Okay, let's. Now I guess we're going after Barbus. Okay, so we can talk, to, actually talk to Barbus, huh? So, let's talk to Barbus. You may not believe this, but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. And soon, you'll be able to witness my greatest achievement. And what great achievement is that? I'm going to bring my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. He'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way and enjoy the show. I promise it will be highly entertaining. Uh, how long were you disguised as Tarvis? Worried about the arc.
such cannons. The poor old man. He died in his sleep, all peaceful like. I saw an opportunity and leapt right in. Stupid Vindek. He never even noticed. I was masterful in the role, though. Don't you agree? Why did go all... <clears throat> Why go through all? Why go to? Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Why go to all this trouble just to get into the Clockwork City? My master has been trying to find this place for the longest time. He actually set the ball rolling. I saw an opportunity to improve his plan and make it better, so I took the initiative. This will get me back in my master's good graces, you'll see. Your master's grandest plan? Oh, yes, indeed. The grandest! My master and his partners seek to... Oh, no, no, no. Bad, Barnabas. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, you're a tricky one, you are. But my master will be so pleased that I stepped in and made his plan even better. Nice chat, but I've got to run. I've got a barrel of the energy to collect. <laughs> Sets Dova fly. Don't know what that is, but somehow I don't think Barbus's master is going to be happy with him. All right, let's talk to Barrelzar. I disabled most of the defenses in the Sectrum, but Silka Seal installed numerous safeguards. I advise caution just in case. Barbas is ahead of us, but I know many paths through the city. Just like the fox that chased the hound. <laughs> but can we really catch up to Barbas? With my help, the probability calculates in your favor. We must keep moving. Hound won't dawdle unless he comes upon an interesting smell or a tree. <laughs> Since we know Barbus's ultimate destination, I can open routes he can't access. We know where Barbus is going. Only one logical place to the atelier where Soka Seal conducted his study of divine energy. Sunora would have sent the stolen power there. It's not far. What Barbus and his master want with Vivex energy, though. Remains unclear. You said you disabled the defenses? Most of them. It might be a random contraption or a wandering crack totem still out there. And if Barba smuggles in more Daedra, the other defenses will become active. Clear the path while I open the route. Then I'll catch up and join you. Alright, here I go. Here we go. <laughs> do 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 do. Let's look at the map. That's not too bad. Factotum Seeker. So I'm guessing it's just a piece of machinery. Whoa, hello. That is quite the uh, range you had. Man, he fell over quick, didn't he? Oh, yeah, I forgot about these blades. Shades of Skyrim. And going into uh, dwarven buildings. That was a blade. You stop that. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going this way still. At least it is nice that you can see its range with those red circles. Oh, there he is. Right. Disable the factotums and the gate couplings. You can always repair them later. Da, 
da, da, da, da, da. Oh, hello. Hey, I told you to quit doing that. Well, actually, it was your buddy, but, you know. Same thing. Anything here? To loot? Nope. Clomp, 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 clomp. Okay. Come on, losers. Wow! How the hell did you do that? I was trying to lead him towards those blades. Whoop! Bo! We just walked right through that. I was not expecting that to happen. Where is he? Oh. Well, that was the plan until you distracted me. Now, I don't know why they call... I don't know why they call Barbus, you know, uh, the Hound of Clavicus Vile. I mean, I know he has a dog form, but I don't know if that's just a form he takes or if he actually is like a, a Daedric Hound that has a humanoid form. I don't know. Jeez. Boy, that was a battle, wasn't it? That took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. Wait, where are we headed now? Oh, okay. Got twisted around again. More scoffing, huh? Concentrate on one. These guys are tough enough that... I, oh, there's another one. Well, let's concentrate on him then, because he's got the least amount of health. Where'd the other one go? Oh, it must have been like a mirror image or something. Okay, we're supposed to go this way, looks like. Yup. Well, guess what? You can't have it. I'm using it right now. Did you quit throwing fireballs at me? That was close. Oh, I hate to waste it on you, but I'm going to. Just because of how close that was. Let's see. I'm going to need another one of those what's it? Uh, let's find. Yeah, let's use one of these. All right.
Whew. Oh, we don't even get to loot him? Really? That was like a lieutenant. There we go. Oh, please. 17 gold. Oh, we got five uh, Fighters Guild reputation for that uh, fight. So, there's that, I guess. Alright. Let's keep going. I hated to use my ultimate there, but... Hey, what the heck happened to my... little stream there? The page changed. That was weird. Come on now. There we go. Um, right. Oh, there's a uh, barrels are. Look, master, the next toy found a way through, just like you said. What Corbett had sooner on. What does the next toy have? The next toy has me, you annoying creature. This way. <laughs> what other way would there be to go? It's like this way. I kind of figured that out. Completed. Enter the engineering junction. Master, I'm close to our goal. With the next energy, I can open a portal. And... Hmm. I'll say, why was my uh, staff not working? Whoa! Did you see that? He just zipped right through it, and that was timing. He took out my mage. But, okay. And here's the blades again. Whoa, hello. Actually, I'm not too concerned. Oh, it gives you a bleed. I guess that makes sense. Let's wait till our health fills up. That won't take about a few more seconds. Well, you have such a faithful servant in me. Questioning me, Barbus? Again? Have you learned nothing from your last banishment? Mm -hmm. I knew. I knew Clavicus Vile was not going to be happy with him. Oh, hello. Ooh, oh, wow. Wow, I'm bleeding profusely for some weird reason. Almost like something out of an anime. That's anime bleeding right there, folks. When you're finished with those fabricants, follow me. Um kind of still bleeding for some weird reason. I'm not losing any health, so I think it's a glitch. <laughs> She's still bleeding. <laughs> oh, it stopped finally. So the scene's faint at Atelier. And Barbus is already inside. Well, let's talk to Barrels are. That's the Atelier behind me. And Barbus is in there. Almost certainly. Sunara <clears throat> led him right to it. it. Won't take the hound long to figure out how to access Vivek's stolen energy. Then he'll try to open a portal for his master, Clavicus Vile. Can Barbus actually use Vivek's energy to open a portal? Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go in there and stop it. Is too great to ignore. Tell me more about the. What was he? How did he pronounce it? Atelier? As I said, the Atelier is the workshop where Sotha Seal used Sonora to experiment with his own divine energy. The reservoir located inside was specifically designed to contain such massive power. As far as workshops go, it's a masterpiece. All right, let's go stop Barbus. No, no, that's inadvisable. Hmm? The Atelier has defenses. 
complete the seal of apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the controls over there and help you from out here. All right, I'm going in. Might as well, huh? <laughs> it's not like we have much of a choice in the matter. Enter the energy reservoir. Oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. Nothing bad could ever happen from entering it. It's almost, in a way, it's almost kind of like a giant uh, dwarven construct. Jeez, am I going to die again? <laughs> wow. That was super close. We'll just sit here and wait for our energy to replenish. I mean, yeah, I could eat something, but why? <sighs> Doesn't take that long for that bar to fill. And the time has almost uh, come back for us to be able to use a potion, so that's always good. Which way are we supposed to go now? Straight? Maybe? Mm, nope. Look at the map. Okay. What am I missing? Unlock the south platform. Sometimes it helps if you read the quest. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh. Goody, another one. Someone's healing somebody. I can't quite tell because I'm not looking that close. If it's the little ones healing the big one or it's the big one healing the little one. I don't really care. Gonna make it, folks. Ooh. Open the north fort and destroy its defenses. And can you kind of hang on a bit? I'd like to get my uh, health back. So that's not where I'm supposed to go. Oh. It's weird now when it pops. Um, it comes out my TV speakers. Instead of no sound at all, which is really strange. But okay. Hmm. I don't want to fight another one. It's 
like he doesn't miss. That's the bad thing. He doesn't miss. Didn't make it that time. All right. We'll play it your way. Darn it. I didn't want to have to use my ultimate, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have much of a choice. It would be so bad if he just would miss. Did you hear that? How the sound came through the TV speakers? Well done. Final <sighs> touch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. Mm, boy, so that means we'll probably have to fight Barbus, and I don't have my ultimate. Oh well. We'll get him one way or the other. Clump, 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 clump. Range fluctuations ahead. Barbus is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry! I'm trying, I'm trying. Whoa! That was weird. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Like my new armor? I wanted to wear something special when I kill you. Come on, Raven. Take him out. We got this, girl. We got him, folks. We got him. We got him. We got him. <laughs> oh, that was a battle. 
and I was afraid I was we was going to die. Oh, we have to talk to Clavicus? Okay. So, you're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. Okay. Talk to Clavicus Vile. We'll have to. I'm trying. Oh, we just had to wait for the. There we go. How dare you discipline my dog? He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson in manners. Barbus tried to kill Lord Vivek and destroy Vardenfell. Indeed. What ambition! As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous. He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And we found the Clockwork City. So you were trying to take control of Clockwork City? This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You will stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does a few decades sound to you? No thanks. I think I'll find my own way out of here. Let's go. Quiet dog. Haven't you? Wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here. Oh. Clavicus vile. This isn't good. Where else are? Lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek, but it was simple enough to trace your energy signature to this Daedric shrine. Unfortunately, some power is interfering with my efforts to open a portal for you. It's Clavicus Vile. He wants to trap me here for a few decades. Hmm. That would be unfortunate for you. You think? Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend a small amount of Vivek's energy at the statue. And that should provide enough of a distraction for me to pull you out of there. Oh, you sent her on vile statue. Be gone, meddling wizard! Oh, hush. That stings, little flea. <laughs> and besides, our character is a dark elf, so a few that decades. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. Mm. Hurry, Outlander. Vivek is nearly spent. A few decades wouldn't hurt her. Well, let's see. We're right here, buddy. My time draws to a close. Were you successful? Can you restore my energy? I have the staff, but the last time it nearly killed you. So you retrieved my stolen energy. You stopped Barbus. Now turn what is rightfully mine. But how can we be certain the staff won't harm you again? To quote my 75th exaltation, certainty is the brother of fear. Nothing is certain. But I have confidence in you. In what you have done. Use the staff. Return my energy. Or not. In a little while. All right, I'll use the staff. Oh, Sunara. And restore my energy. Ah, there's our Vivek. Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. <laughs> Our Vivek is back, Jack. <laughs> Remarkable. No ordinator or armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. I did what I could. As my next sermon shall proclaim, modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer 
for the sincere garment of the humble. Again, you have my gratitude, and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the tribunal owe you their lives. Mm. Right. You have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. The hearts and minds of the people must also be won. I must ask you for one more service. What do you need me to do? Gratitude is its own reward, I once told the crowds in Ebenhar. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible. Help me reward those who aided in the saving of Vardenfell, so we can reassure my people. How can I help you reward people? To start, retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of Wisdom. It is time to appoint a new head priest. I shall gather my people and meet you at my statue on the central canton. It shall be a glorious ceremony, my friend. Alright, I'll get the signet and meet you at the central canton. One last task before your service ends, my friend. Hmm, let's talk to Berylzar. I've been away from my tower for much too long. Hopefully none of my experiments explode in my absence. I do love watching a good explosion. <laughs> it was a pleasure having you as an assistant. Much better than those so-called hirelings I usually employ. <laughs> that worked out. All right, um, let's talk to Vivek again. I'll send word to all the people of Bartonfell. Once you retrieve the signet, we'll meet again in Vivek City. All right, and let's talk to Canon Lavoul. Uh, who knew what we were getting into when we met at my ancestral tomb, eh, my friend? <sighs> I'm just sorry that poor Archcanon Tarvis is no longer with us. I mean the real one, not the dated. He really was a good man, and an excellent priest. Okay, well let's go retrieve the Arch Cannon's signet. <laughs> See, do y'all feel better now that we saved Vivek's life? I mean, I am. Where? There it is. So we should come out to see a quiet... Uh, yep. Quiet Red Mountain, and Bardow is nice and low, but isn't going anywhere. Peace reigns in Vardenfell. All thanks to us. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, let's see. Where, what does it say? Archcan Signet above. So it looks like it's in his office. Maybe? Oh, wow. His... Why is there... There's a strange mirror. There's this lockbox. Ooh, there's a journal. Hmm. Okay. And, oh, we can actually look in there. Oh, I think I have that one already. A lockbox. That should have his signet. Yep, arch cannon signet. Oh, it's kind of... Looks like a skull. cupboard yeah I was I kind of wanted to pick the, the mirror up but then I kind of didn't because I didn't know what it was going to happen red exile instructions huh oops yeah I know there ew game so there's raw wild game in that cupboard ugh Radishes in there. Lock pick in a jewelry box because of course. Alright, now we have to go meet Vivek. Oh, that's his lantern that's making that sound. Oh. 
got to find him first. There he is. You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. Oh, there's Revis. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to our buddy. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering cloud. Were you able to locate the arch cannon's signal? Yes, I have it right here. Continue to guard it. For it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well, to aid you in your next task. What? <laughs> What's in the bag? You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. Now join me in celebration. What do you want me to do? As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of the vet? I'm ready. Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas. You sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city. After relaxing with your patient wife. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Normally it just appears. That one looked like it went like that. <laughs> that was kind of neat. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Barrels are. Approach. Barrels are. There he is. Thought that was him. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother's sulfur seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones filled with Tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that. Did Lord Vivek summon me? Arch Canon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul. Rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Arch Cannon Levu. My lord, I'm not worthy, but I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you, and I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land. Now a friend forever. Step forward. Oh, he must be talking about me. <laughs> or us, as it were. You come before me with an empty sack. But have no fear. As I have written, treat your enemies well. And your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor I'm about to bestow upon you? I accept, Lord Vivek. Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. Now go forth and rejoice. <laughs> well, we still got work to do in Vardenfell, but that's the end of the main storyline. We came to Vivek. We met him, found he was losing a little bit of his energy. He didn't know why. 
He sent us out into the into the land to discover what was going on. We found him getting weaker and weaker and weaker. We found a betrayer in our midst. We found a tool that was turned into a weapon that was used to steal Vivek's power, nearly killing him. We got the staff back. We defeated the enemies. We restored Vivek, and we're now his good friend and champion. So I think, all in all, something to be quite proud of. And if we wanted to, there's actually we can actually talk to, I think, just about every one of these people that appear. That appear. <gasps> there's our lady, Naryu. I forgot about... Oh, no, I didn't forget about her, but I, forget, I forgot that she shows back up. And that's just a player. So what do you say we go ahead and just talk to him one last time? And then, well, yeah, we'll be talking to these, these characters one last time. And then we're going to go and work on our... Uh, in, what side quests we have left in uh, Vardenfell. So let's try Vivek one more time. The warrior poet shall write of your deeds in story and song. You will be remembered for your service to Vardenfell. Now go. See the wonders of our great land. There are others who need your help. Of that, I am certain. <laughs> Let's see. Let's talk to this person. May Arcade drive back the darkness forevermore. Short and to the point. I like it. All right, we'll talk to the Arch Cannon now. Arch Cannon? I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Still, it's been a grand adventure, hasn't it, my friend? I suppose if I could survive everything that happened, I can certainly serve as a high priest to Lord Vivek. How hard could it be? <laughs> right. All right, I'll come over here and we'll talk to Draleth Hilaron. I had no idea you were in Lord Vivek's good graces. Perhaps you could put in a good word for me. I'm currently in negotiations with House Redoran about rebuilding a settlement. And have no fear, I'll keep my end of the bargain with the Ashlanders. See, this is this is something else that I really like, is when you go about helping all these people, and, at least, I mean, it, it happened in elsewhere during the coronation, and it's happening now, you get to speak to a bunch of the people that you aided or, or worked with. It's so weird that that popping does that. Oh, well. Let's talk to our girl, Naryu. I've never been fond of the living gods, so I consider this a punishment. The first of many meaningless tasks the Grand Master will give me until he determines that I've suffered enough for the Veil debacle. Oh, I long for a nice, juicy writ. <laughs> So she's being punished right now. <laughs> but hey, at least they, they, they didn't try to come after her to kill her. Okay, well, the stream's behind a little bit, not much. I got a little swirly thing. It was stuck on Draleth, so now it's going to... Yeah, so it's not that far behind. All right, let's talk to Verona. A vacation. I don't think Shiralas has taken time off since we got married. I hear Seda Moon is beautiful this time of year. Maybe we could take a cruise up the coast. Okay, now let's talk to the Overseer. Me? Among all these fine people? To see Lord Vivek summoned, I didn't even change my clothes. I... Honored and embarrassed all at once. <laughs> Vivek didn't seem to care. All right, there's Revis. Uh, Demnavani, the one we ha remember, the one we helped with the uh, Quama egg and all that fun stuff. I can't believe this. Lord Vivek right in front of me. The living god himself. I, I hope I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> Do you think I might embarrass myself? You know, I think I'll just stand here, perfectly still, without moving. That would be good. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Stibbins before we talk to his full-of-herself boss. 
pity there was nothing in that sack of blessings for me. At least that rock hanging in the sky didn't fall and pop me on the head. Oh, what am I saying? The night is still young. You might not want to stand so close, just in case. <laughs> right? She looks just put out. Like, oh, I can't believe we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Full of herself as always. All right, we got two more people to talk to. Let's talk to Saren. I may not consider him to be a true deity. But Vivek doesn't seem to be a bad sort. I'll be heading back to my tribe soon. I'm glad we got a chance to see each other again before I take my leave. Are you doing all right after all this? I lost my brother to ambition and became the champion of Azura. From that point of view... I suppose I'm doing as well as can be expected. I'll return to the tribes, pick up where Chodala and I left off, before he decided he was the Nerevarian. Has Azura told you anything else? Not directly, but I do have a sense that malignant forces are gathering on the plains of Oblivion. But that could just be the scrib jelly and cheese I ate for lunch. Farewell, Outlander. May the Queen of the Night Sky guide you on your travels. Scrib jelly and cheese. Just knowing that scrib jelly is from an insect. <laughs> How much longer do I need to stay here? Social situations have never been my strong suit. Let's get back to my tower and experiment with this wonderful gift Vivek bestowed upon me. I already have ideas how to improve magical transportation. I would probably say it would be a good idea not to leave before Vivek does. I think that's, what do you call it, proper etiquette? Not to leave, bef you know, not to leave before the uh, host, you know, would leave the room if you were inside of a building. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's see, what do we have left? Not too much. Um, let's look at the map. Well, we've got all the the main the main quest line is done. That that much I knew. There's still one way shrine we have to find. There's one uh, delve. So there's still an eleven sky <laughs> shards. Ugh. Oi vey. All right. Did we didn't we not have a uh, Let's see, we're not going to talk to Sun and Shadow yet, um, because I don't remember what that was for. Veloth's Ancestral Tomb. Let's see, where's that? What is that? Oh, oh that, yeah, never mind about that. Let's see. Oh, way over here. Okay, so we need to get to the West Gash Way Shrine. All right, so where... Oh, okay, so the Way Shrine I want is right over here. Oh, let's see if the uh, Moonlet's been moved. Nope, it's still there. I want to see if it was put back in its original... Well, not original. Its previous location. Okay, so we wanted the Gash Way Shrine, right? West Gash. All right. So what'd you think about all that, huh? <laughs> I mean, I love the storyline. I, I absolutely loved the main uh, storyline for uh, Vardenfell. I mean, if Vivek would have been even a little bit of a jerk, then I wouldn't have enjoyed it. I mean, even... If, I should say not... not ugh. Um, if he was pompous, because, you know, he was a living god, and he had all this power, then I wouldn't have been as 
enthralled in the uh, storyline. Oh, right. I forgot I got a bunch. I got almost no room in my inventory. Can't believe I forgot about that. Now that's Satanine. That's that's what I want. The Vivek City Way Shrine. We gotta do this real quick. Hmm. Yeah, I com I completely forgot that I have a full inventory, or pretty darn close to being full. So I need to. I need to deconstruct stuff. Clothing station? What do we have? Holy cow. Let's just see how, if, how much we get out of all this... Out of this stuff. All right. This is all going to be uh, whites, so basically just as plain as you can get. Let's see if we what we get off of it. Not much. Four leather, two cotton, two manganese. That's but that's not nothing. Okay, so get rid of that, and I just wish it had something to it. And that. I think I was looking to try to find the get get the War Maiden set. All right, got rid of, we'll keep that piece for now. All right, um, let's see. Nothing over here. Should be there. It is blacksmith station. Blade of the Warrior Poet. I'm going to go ahead and just keep that for now. What does the Warrior Poet do? A part of the Warrior Poet set. Health, armor, armor, health, toughness. That's a set I wouldn't really want. Okay, so we're getting rid of the Axe of the Defiler. Okay, so we're keeping that. What'd we get? Defiler Battle Axe Collected. Ooh, look at that. We're Yeah, we definitely want to be wearing that that piece there. Oh, and that's another Warrior Poet set. Huh. And it's blue. And there's another one. Well, I like that just because of the health it gives. So, we'll just keep a hold of all that. Alright, so we got rid of that part. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, inventory. Um, let's see. It was... What? Waste? Oh, yeah. The Warrior Poet's Girdle. A lot better. So we'll put that on. And then it was legs. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, the ones we're wearing. Shea Gorath's Greaves. 498. This is 732. And we've already got maximum health because we're wearing two pieces now. So now we have three. So we got armor added. Um, an armor boost. What was left? Chess piece? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. We're going from uh, 299 maximum health to 1067. That's definitely going to help. And it increases armor enchantment effect by 21%. So, yay. And then we're going to get even more armor added. 
All right, that's gonna help a great deal. So now we got more stuff we should be able to deconstruct. Get rid of that and that. I know I'm I'm giving up a lot of money by not selling this stuff, but I but I want to get um, my skill up. Let's see. Uh, talk to the banker real quick. Because I want to dis <laughs> disposit. Oh my gosh. Get rid of that. Already known. Already known. Already known. Already known. Already known. Okay. Um, I don't use... Let's see. Put that one in there. Drop those in there. Um, let's see. Already in your library. Already. Already. So use. Okay. Um, poisons. Stamina. Magicka. Character bound, character bound. Okay, no, we're not getting rid of that. Okay. Blade of the Warrior Poet. I'll drop that in there. I'll drop 200 lockpicks in there. I've got 69. So, all right. Okay, so I still need... Wait. Was it woodworking? Did I already do that? Nope. I don't want to fire. I don't want the fire staff. I don't like fire staves. I just don't. Yeah, I'll break that down too. Okay, so I think I got rid of some of the stuff, didn't I? Okay. No. Nope. Um. Let's see. Go back over here. There we go. Uh, we're, keep, we're keeping that. It is kind of confusing sometimes. Because it does open up your bank. And let you see everything that's in there. Where is... Where is... Okay. This is what I was looking for. Oh, I got rid of them all. Bummer. Jewelry. There we go. Twenty. Look at that. All right. And that is Alchemy Station, which is just the making the potions. So let's see. What do we have? Daily reward, which we never picked up. Experience scrolls. Bind on pickup. Ah, what the heck. Bind! Restoration potions. So I'll have to log into somebody different. Give them some. Probably. Probably hunts in the deep. Would, it would probably be a good idea to let him have some. Alright, let's try to. All right, what did we get here? Whoop. Defiler. Okay, Western Skyrim. We got, oh, there it is. Winter's Respite. Okay. Inventory. What do I have? Slottable items, what? Oh, just then the experience scroll. All right. Okay, then everything else is craft bag. Social, mail, get our stuff. Okay. All right. Um, so now we're going to go to the, the Veloth Ancestral Tomb. So where, okay, this way. 
We're going to head back to the Way Shrine and head back to where we were just a couple of minutes ago. So that is the West Gash Way Shrine. And then just like in uh, Elsewhere, uh, once we get all the quests done, we'll just do the thing with the map and it'll lead us, you know, one at a time to a new place. Whoops. <laughs> I meant to be blocking. I hate it when it does that. Puts all that... Whatever you want to call it. Some kind of caustic substance. On the ground. It just spits everywhere in a circle. Apparently it's stuff that it's immune to. Otherwise it wouldn't... Just splattered all over the place like that. Cliff racer overhead. No, almost. Oh. Oh, goody. Oh, I thought those were Nick's hounds for a second. Didn't quite make it out. All right, good heavens. She was mad. <laughs> what is that, dead quama? Oh, mushrooms. Th oh, that's right. I'm going to take your apple. And your cheese. And your drink. <laughs> and your drink. She doesn't seem to care. All right. It's locked door. I see you found your way. It's nice that you want to help my Narcissus, but he doesn't really require another assistant. I'm quite capable of taking care of his many wants and desires. <laughs> oh, goodness, girl. You really need to upgrade. <laughs> Did Narcissus Dren already enter the tomb? into the tomb. Unfortunately, we have not heard so much as a peep out of him in a Gwar's age. Is there a reason to be worried? No, of course not. This is Narcissus Dren we are talking about. Famed hero and adventurer. He's not too busy, though. I would appreciate it if you could head inside and check on him, just in case. Sometimes Narcissus gets a little distracted, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. I know what he's like. Let's see if there's anything in here we can loot. Probably not, but it's always... Oh, look at that. A sack. Coins. <laughs> Coins. I don't know what that is, but we can't take it. Okay. Empty backpack. There's a drink. That was the first thing I saw. To be honest, I really did not expect to be able to loot what was in here. Oh... Oh, I've got to try again because there is a, oh, there's a, uh, looks like a soul stone. And if there is, we want it. We need it. We want it, precious. Come on. It's a little bit more. Come on, girly. Oh, I saw it. Got it. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that, to be honest with you. I'd never tried it before. But I got... There's a soul gem in there, and I got it. <laughs> Sweet. Whew, cold chill. That's weird, because it's warm. Uh... 
Okay. Do, 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 do. Fine, Narcissus Drent. Is someone out there? I seem to have locked myself in. Let's see. What do we have? Mm -hmm. I know it's just, all just cheap junk, but there is a chance we could get something when we break it down. This room's clear. We'll go ahead and talk to Dingus. Who's out there? Oh, no, never mind. I don't care. I just want to get out of here. It's dark and it's cramped and it smells like an Argonian's armpit. How did you get locked in there? Uh, I recognize this boy. You should. I knew you'd come and find me. As for my current predicament. How was I supposed to know it was a trap? The door slammed shut and locked behind me. So, do a dark elf a favor and open the door like a good apprentice? Please? <laughs> he said please. Um, how do I open the door? There's probably a button or something nearby. In my experience, there's always something pushable. I remember seeing dangerous symbols on plates along the wall. Try pushing a button that's divisible by three. Divisible by three? Now you're just trying to prolong my agony. Divisible by three. Try pushing the sixth panel from the left, or the third panel, or maybe the eighth panel. Any of the panels in a position that's divisible by three. How is eight divisible by three? That didn't make a damn bit of sense. Okay, well, there's the third one. Another obstacle overcome by the great Narcissus Drin. I'm going to bury my boot in his backside. I was surprised we got it on the first try. All right, you pompous windbag. I find that escaping from an ancient trap really gets the heart pumping. Provided it doesn't take too long, of course. I couldn't have done it without your relatively minor contribution. Thank you. All he was doing was on the other side of that door whining like a little baby, and now he's taking all the credit. So are you sure this is the tomb you were looking for? Indeed. Veloth tomb. Now we need to locate the hidden passages mentioned in the scroll, and the relics of St. Veloth will be mine. Um, to write about in my next book, of course. Stick close, Apprentice. These tombs can be dangerous to the unwary. All I gotta say is, I love his armor. He's... He's a stain. <laughs> but I, I really love his armor. Alright, uh, you think St. Veloth is buried here? St. Veloth? Perhaps. It's more likely he's buried in his shrine in Desham. This is the family tomb. Did I tell you my mother traces her lineage to this noble line? Whatever we're going to find, it won't happen if we keep standing here. So? St. Vela's Shrine is in Deshaun? One of them. And it's one of the larger and more significant ones, too. You should visit the place if you're ever in that part of the world. Now, I'd really like to get on with the exploring, if you don't mind. What should we look for? I could tell you... But I work on an instinctual level. I know relics of historic value when I see them. Apprentice, you lead the way. I expect that locked door was the worst this tomb has in store for us. It's smooth sailing from here, I'm certain. What about the hidden passages? Ah, yes. The old scroll. It did mention hidden passages. That's what attracted me in the first place. So I'll look for relics and hidden passages while you keep an eye out for any unexpected dangers. See? We make a great team, Apprentice. <laughs> All right, let's look around. Ooh, 
This might be Veloth's long sought after right pauldron. Ooh, remarkable hanging. Early second era, perhaps? Ah, the main chamber must be down these stairs. Let's talk to him, see what he has to say. According to the old scroll, there's a secret entrance that leads to the hidden passages somewhere in this chamber. How do we find the secret entrance? I don't see any obvious lever or switch. That's too bad. Examine anything that looks unusual. That harp, for instance. That's an odd accoutrement for a burial chamber. I also spot an old tome strategically placed for our reference. Interesting. Why am I examining the unusual items exactly? I need to supervise. You are my apprentice, after all. Now get down there and find the hidden passage. Uh, only the richest, most well-to-do families could afford to hide their true resting places so that no one could disturb or defile them. Imagine. But aren't we disturbing them? Historical research isn't defilement. It's... Enriching the knowledge of future generations. My calling is noble and above reproach. It says so in my very first book. Now go find that entrance. <laughs> oh, he's a mess. Well, here's the tome. Let's see. Let's. What's in the copper? All right. Let's see what the. If there's anything related to Saint Veloth in this chamber. Let's see. What? The inscription on that pedestal might reveal something. Do give it a look, apprentice. I was gonna say I was gonna read it out loud, but I don't know how much chattering he's gonna do, since he just was randomly talking. So I'll leave it there for for you all to read if you wish. All I'm doing is just looting. I'll worry about the other stuff afterwards. Oh, there's a um, scavenger. That dusty old tome will suggest suitable offerings. Dust makes me sneeze, so you should take a look. Oh, we have to do the offerings. Oh, I hate, I hate puzzles. <sighs> Leora Veloth, or little, little, uh, whatever. Uh, fair to face, kind of heart, and keen of mind. She ruled the Veloth family for more than 100 years. Prosperity and peace she brought through three unions. The tribunal graced her with youth and beauty for all her long life. Her grace reflected only good upon the family name. Uh, okay. So... A mirror. Take the mirror. Um, oh, we have to take... Oh, I guess I have to take them all right now. That's not what I was hoping for. But, all right. Okay, so now, let's see. Whose place is this? No. Nope. Yeah, that's that's the one I, I uh, read. Hand mirror. The brazier ignited. That's a good sign. All right. Well, we're going to read the next one. Uh, Andre Veloth, the master archer of Moag Amor. With honor and strength and a bow bestowed by Almalexia, he held the pass near Lake Nabia for nine days. 
Cursed be the slowed who brought him to his end. So Andre gets something that is related to a bow. Probably an ancient arrow. <laughs> no? Natural. Yeah. Although I suppose my mentoring has honed your talent. I'm gonna take that arrow and I'm gonna stick it in your butt. I hadn't I hadn't noticed what the what I what I say is the popping. It can't be heard in stream at all. Um you don't even hear a disturbance. Cause I actually for the first time actually list uh when my company came over yesterday evening, her and I actually because I was telling her about my stream and she hadn't seen any of it, so we watched the episode of Mary and I, two and a half hours, we sat and watched the whole stream, and there were several times where I paused and waited because I was hearing the popping in my ear, but there was nothing to indicate that anything was going on on the stream, so... If you if I'm just talking normally or reading something and all of a sudden I stop for a couple of seconds and then pick up where I left off, it's because there was popping and the game sound disappears during that pop for me. So anyway, let's who's the next one? Valen Veloth. Weep not for Valen Veloth. She toasted her enemies after her battles waged. Uh, her hand promised to the man who killed her father. She stood as poison ran through her veins. No muscle or movement betrayed her, watching as they all toasted her in kind and fell poison to the last. With a smile, she dropped her cup and at last fell herself. See, just popped again. That was Valen. So, the ornate goblet. Happy to see the ants aren't materializing. I find ghosts to be rather boorish. Okay, last one. Elms Veloth. Fed the family and retainers of the Veloth line. Throughout the long year of great hunger, he toiled to nourish the bodies of kith and kin. No meat or wheat passed his lips until everyone else ate their fill. When the rains came, he laid down. His sacrifice, a nourishment, and honor. Uh, as the crops blossomed and fed our people. All right. I mean, yeah, I could have just placed it, but I was reading all the others, so I might as well read this one too. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Which item will you place? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the only one that's left. Oh, well done. Perhaps I should charge for my tutelage. God, there's like two other players in here. Harp. Broom. <laughs> we did it. On to the under tomb, apprentice. <laughs> no dawdling, apprentice. There's treasure nearby. I can practically smell it. Isn't it exciting? We're the first living creatures to set foot down here in more than a hundred years. This will definitely get an entire chapter in my next book. You were right. A hidden passage led to an older section of the tomb. And that surprises you. Haven't you read my books? This is very similar to that time I unearthed the secret chambers of the Master Thief of Elsewhere. A pity my apprentice on that excursion refused to heed my advice. Walked right into a nasty trap. What do you suggest we do next? We search. You lead the way while I watch for the telltale signs of a valuable item of historic significance. Hopefully even a relic of Saint Veloth himself. Ooh, this is the part where our adventure gets really exciting. Yeah, he doesn't notice the floating figure way in the back by the light by that statue. How do you recognize items of historic significance? Oh, that's a skill I developed. Finally honed in the heat of battle, both metaphorical and physical. So lead on, my erstwhile apprentice, and do watch for any guardians or traps that might be waiting in hiding. 
Is that why you always want me to go first? Going first? That's an honor I wouldn't dream of denying you. And I'll be right behind you, offering advice and watching for opportunities to teach valuable lessons. You won't get this kind of an education at any university or academy. Is that what you told your apprentice and elsewhere? Uh, something along those lines. But he was too eager, running ahead before I could offer him the advantage of my experience. You don't seem to have that quirk. In fact, quite the opposite. It seems like you want to stand here and talk forever. <laughs> Very well, let's go. Well, I think we're going to wait. Nothing important in there. Well, we can just look around because they went and attacked that and I wanted to make sure that uh, we got to fight it. So, we're going to wait for a respawn, folks. But at least we'll... Ooh. Purple diagram. A spitter. And... Dead! <laughs> I hate spiders. I am not a spider person. I hate spiders... And even some fake, sp well, fake spiders, as in games. If they're if they're done really, really well, then sometimes they can really give me the creeps. But for the most part, no. Come on. Well, I'll go all the way to the end of this one and then come back because it's a straight line, so. Well, kinda. Who's that? Oh, that's An Narcissus. Cover. I'll take a look while you deal with any other issues that may arise. I'm not sure what ornate coffer he was talking about, but whatever. Yipe! <laughs> Yipe! Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> it was a trap. And I just left myself standing on the pressure plate. All right, I need to get some more. Um, let's see, where is it? Just increase my max health again. Because <laughs> just those two attacks came close. You know, I mean, took most of our health away. Okay. It must have been those three stones there. They do look a little bit raised up. All right, let's go see if that one critter's back. Not yet. It's a slow respawn. Come on, dude. Or dudette. Dude something. Take my frustrations out on a centipede. Got fish bait. I don't know if we're going to see more of those. That's why I'm uh, wanting to wait for the respawn. And I know it's after ten, it's after ten o'clock, so I would normally have ended my stream by now. But I wanted to finish this. Little room. Uh, it's not going to be that important, so heck. Okay. Um, all right. I can feel my OC. Your eyes peeled for traps, apprentice. Well, I kept my body um, open for that last one. God, the OCD part of me really wants to fight that shade thing. Darn it. I really... Wait, that's not where we went. It was this way. 
Mm -hmm. He's not back. I'm going to kill me a bone flare. Whoa! Yeah, there's that thing again. Well, filled that soul gem that I had. Killed a bug in the process. I'm going to look one more time. Darn. Normally my OCD doesn't kick up, but for some reason it really wanted to take him out. I'd feel better if I could see another one. Then I wouldn't know it was... I'm sure you can handle this. Handle what? What's there to handle? Nothing at the moment. Oh, that's... I was wondering what those little tiny lights were. They're little sticks of incense. All right, dang it, one more time. Hello! Well, there was, that's what it was. Let's go see if that one down there is back yet. Wait, where, oh, didn't quite go far enough. Ah, there it is. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> okay. All better now. My OCD is appeased. Actually, it was appeased when we killed that other one, but I figured, oh, hey. Oh. I missed it the last time, but I stepped on it. Stepped on a pressure plate and summoned these little jokers. At least I think that must have been it. Is there a pressure, even a pressure plate in here? I thought there was a sound like I stepped on something. No. Just looks like they just appeared. All right. Under two mausoleums. How much more do we have? This looks long. I'm afraid we'll just keep going because sometimes when you go into some some uh not not dungeons but delves or caves and stuff and you're like say where we are now. Sometimes when you log out, when you log back in, it kicks you completely out of the building. So well, I don't want to risk that. You see every day. Great opportunity for you to impress me, though. How about we feed you to it? Let's see. Get back. Wow. I can hit it from here. All right. And that's what I'll do. At the farthest range I can. Impressed, you big blowhard. Whoa! Oh, yeah. I believe I see the treasure vault on the other side of this chamber. Away, foul creatures! The bracelet of Indrel Velo, I'm sure of it. How does he go around him? And we you know darn well we wouldn't be able to pull that off.
Yeah, Mary thinks it's a minor conflict that's causing the popping that only I hear. Which, that's the only thing that makes sense. Whoa, where'd you come from? Okay. I was trying to get past this, see if I can get them to walk through it and take damage. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, I hate hungers. Oh, they're horrible. We fought. I fought one last. Uh, yet was it? Was no, it wasn't yesterday. No, it was yesterday. I think. No, you don't. Oh, I hate hungers. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. No, you don't. Stop. Bad. Ugh. I hate hungers. They are so much of a pain. Okay. All right. All right, where was I? Whoops. It's so nice to know that, you know, being a, subs a subscriber, I'm never going to have to worry about having too much crafting materials since the craft bags have an unlimited, uh, unlimited, uh, space. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, okay. You fight them. Let's see. Is this? Nope, I haven't been in here yet. Why not? Instead of just... Alright. Um... Dude, you're in the way. Thank you. Sword. Well, I was expecting something to show up this time. Nope. Okie dokie. Hey, that looks locked. <laughs> Whoops. What's down there? A room. More buttons. What was that all about? Oh, he was just charging up. 
All right, let's talk to Doofus. Ah, damn these cramped spaces and their tempting gaps. I hate to be a bother, but could you get me out of here, please? Mm. You seem to have a knack for getting into tight situations. So good of you to notice. I'm quite proud of my ability to turn any situation into a dramatic scene for my next book. Anyway, I believe you'll find another series of wall breaks to push in the chamber to my right. I could just leave you in there. That's a rather ungrateful attitude. After I graciously agreed to take you under my wing. If you don't let me out, however, we won't be able to use the key I found in here. I'm quite certain it opens the way into the next section of the tomb. Mm -hmm. There's another section? Almost certainly. The scroll clearly described a final treasure vault. And we haven't come across anything like that yet. So... Do a dark elf a favor and go push a wall plate. It's the second one from the left. Or is it the right? All right, I'll see if the wall plates will open this door. Gosh, what a numpty. So, which one? This one? Ow! Something just shocked me. Really? No! What are you doing out there? Having a little fun? All right. That was just mean. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually done this before. Ouch. Try pushing the correct button this time. <laughs> that was too much just too much fun. Probably. <laughs> Let's hit it again. Ow, something just shocked me. Oh, we used up all the uh, dialogue. So it's probably not this one, but it's probably the next one. Let's find out. Ow, what are you doing out there? <laughs> all right. The only one left. I found a jeweled glove and a sturdy key. Let's see if it opens the way into the next section of the tomb. I probably can't go in there, can I? Nope. Ah, sweet freedom. Onward. Where is he going now? Oh, through there. Okay. Mausoleum of the Elders. Oh, but that was just that was just so funny. Oh. I never thought about doing it the first time I did this to just keep hitting the button to see if you could and see see what he said. So yeah, that was that was too much fun. Uh, I'm almost sorry that I did that I came in here and not waited for uh, another day when Mary could join. So many spirits. Why they prefer tombs like this is beyond me. Oh well, she'll see it again because eventually, with the pair that we're that her and I are running together, you, missed a few. you can hush up over there, dummy. Um. Mary and I will eventually be in Vardenfell. So we'll come across this and I will definitely remember being able to t torment and mildly torture Narciss. Shield, shield. Oh no. Wow. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Right? Is that it? No? That it. There it is. Man, that'd flatten you, wouldn't it? And so you don't even think about it. It's just there, but you don't notice. I mean, that's the point of the traps. They don't want you to notice them. Ah! Oh, that was way over there. Okay. I guess they figured you'd be running, so you'd trigger it and then step right in in the line of fire, so to speak. Tiles set in the floor. <laughs> I've seen this before. Panels on the walls. Oh, Do you man. see any differences? I suppose the order is important, but a few of the panels have fallen into disrepair. Oh boy. I Hate puzzles. The stone tiles set into the floor as a giant locking mechanism. 
We just need to determine the proper combination to open the way forward. Of course, there's probably some kind of conundrum built in. You've dealt with a puzzle like this before? Of course. But no two puzzles are ever exactly the same. The scroll described a proper path to ancient honors. Or was it to honor the ancients? No matter. Close enough. We just need to determine the correct order in which to walk the stone tiles. What happens if we get it wrong? That's where the conundrum comes in. Check the panels on the wall and see if they provide any insight. I'll supervise and run through the huge catalog of adventure obstacles and how to counteract them. I memorized it for just such situations. Well, let me know if you think of something. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Veloth floor puzzle. Use map. That's not much of a map. It shows where to start and where to end up, but nothing in the middle. So, well, let's look at these. Um, wait, use the map. Okay, it's Oblivion and then an S. I guess that's supposed to be the S. And then... Let's see. I'm trying to think in my head what it would remind me of. Question mark, M. Uh, C. And a door. Question mark, M. Door. So we're supposed to go that and that. Question mark. No. Wait. Oh, this one, right? No. Okay, well, we got this far. Use map, okay. And it looks like it's showing to here. Oh, we got to use the other. Oh, okay. They left me here. Getting burned in the trap slowly uh, in the slap slowed me down. I knew they would leave me if they thought we were discovered. I gave them my earlier notes to study, pretending to believe them when they swore they would come back. Couldn't even leave me a healing potion or something to numb the pain. My only satisfaction is that I think I may have discovered the key finally. My earlier attempts as translation were off the mark. The emphasis on certain words sitting here staring at this wall, it fell into place. The order of the Daedric letters, that's the key. Now if I could only still walk, I'd be able to open that gate in an instant. Okay, so it's Oblivion S, whatever that is, question mark, M, and then something in the door. So let's see. Use the map. It's still not completed. Why isn't it? All right, this is getting annoying.
Yes, I know, but it's not... All right, here we go. That's it. Just step in the proper order and the way will be open. Got it. <laughs> um Weird? Didn't I solve it? It opened. I solved it. Why is it not letting me in? Something's weird. Did you see that flash of gold? A blessing from Saint Vela for sure. Come to Narcissus, you beautiful golden head, you. How did I don't want to know. And look, another passage opens. That will lead to the treasure vault most assuredly. Well, let's loot what we can. Ooh. The Lothi Tyson Crypt. So I'm thinking that was probably a design or something for another decorative item for your home. All right, Dingus. I'm just guessing, mind you. Dare say that's grandson of Saint Veloth. What a spectacular discovery! Maybe you should have left the skull where you found it. Nonsense! Did you see it? Emeralds for eyes, covered in gold. It's better than anything in my collection. Don't let odd sounds disturb you. I learned long ago to just hum the tune to the Red Mountain drinking song and keep moving forward. But the skull was hidden behind a gate with magic protecting it from people like us. There are no people like us. We solved the puzzle and uncovered the secret. You did all the work, of course, but I had it figured out the moment we entered the chamber. I was ready to help if you needed it. Now, let's see what's waiting inside. <sighs> Very well, let's continue on. To the ancient crypt! My next book is going to be a trilogy for sure. Tomb of the Matriarch. Mm, this looks friendly. Well, this isn't at all what I expected. This place is ancient. These must be Veloth's earliest ancestors. I'll perform a thorough historical examination while you deal with any inconveniences that happen our way. Inconveniences, he called them. Technique to be a little more graceful than that. They're dead, aren't they? Oh, shroom beetle. Ashes, a technique that predates the earliest Dark Elves. 
I don't know what he's talking about. All I see are skeletons that are coming after me. Of course I can. Where's he seeing preserved bodies at, anyways? I don't see any. Oh, that's just a shroom beetle. How much further do we have? Not a lot. Ugh. This has definitely become a longer stream than I had hoped. Oh. Alright, let's do this, folks. Oh, jeez, it's a, uh, yeah, one of them. It's a giant skeleton. I don't think they have vital parts. Couldn't get out of the way. You are done, matriarch. God, those things are... They're cool, and they're creepy as hell. I wish one would fall on its back so you'd be able to, you know, see up close what it looks like. But see, it, it's just built. It's kind of like if you think of, like, a skeleton golem. I mean, it's got that one that one main head, had two extra heads. It had rib cages on its arms, like armor. Yeah, it was quite, quite the thing. Let's look around here real quick. This is the only chance we'll get to look a little extra. At least we know it's not a delve, so we don't have that to worry about. Um, okay, that's the way we came in, so yeah. Alright, so we're headed up this way. He just rushes in. Treasure Vault. Why would he be excited about stairs? Is this a poor... So the treasure? Nothing but some broken crates and an old well. Narcissus Dren never fails like this. I blame you, apprentice. You blame me, huh? You jack wagon? Where's this go? Yeah, I think that's just the, just the way out. God, I don't want to know why my stomach is growling like crazy. Yep, there's the old well. <laughs> my translation was nearly perfect. So how could this be? Where are the relics? The treasure? There's nothing here but some busted old crates and a decrepit old well. Guess that old scroll was wrong. No, that's impossible. Ancient scrolls lead to discovery and treasure, not disappointment. I blame you, apprentice. You obviously don't have the attitude and temperament necessary to make great discoveries. You ruined my expedition. Wasn't it worth it just for the adventure? Isn't that a noble sentiment? But noble sentiments don't pay the bills or sell my books. You wouldn't understand. You have no sense of what it takes to do what Narcissus Dren does. You're nothing more than an apprentice. <laughs> so we've got two choices here. We have, I'm sure you can make it sound good when you write it, or didn't I read somewhere that the Chimer hid treasures in their wells trick Narcissus? Of course, 
Arthas Dren in the Well of Gold. One of my earliest adventures. Why didn't I think of that? I take back everything I said. You are a good apprentice. Now, let's see what they hid away in that old well. You might want to get a closer look. Go get a closer look. I think you're right, apprentice. There's no water down there. And I definitely see a gleam of gold. Bye. Hey. <laughs> I assume that was a mistake on your part. I reiterate my earlier observation. You're a terrible apprentice. Hello? Is anyone there? A little help, please. <sighs> okay, now we're going to head go bye bye. So we've already been through all of this area. So all we have to do is head out. Authors, now it's not the time to take a break. Narcissus will be out soon, I'm sure. Oh, there he is. I say, where is Porphyry? Oh, you got more food. Apple. Oh, just and a drink. Okay, let's talk to Elfbetta the Shy. It's good to see you again. Finished exploring the tomb, but where's Narcissus? I miss that doctor terribly, you know. <laughs> Narcissus is doing quite well. He wanted to check out one more hole in the ground. Wanting to explore just one more nook and cranny. I assume he'll be along shortly for one of my shoulder rubs. Allow me to pay you for your service. It is the standard rate for Narcissus apprentices. There we go. <laughs> See if she. All right. Let's see. If she... Goodness. Achievement unlocked. Narcissus apprentice. Ooh. See if we can talk to her again. Narcissus still has not returned from the tomb. I don't suppose you'd... No, probably not. I'll wait for a few more moments, and then send Borfrey in to look for him. I'm sure all is well, but I can't help this feeling that something went wrong. No, everything was fine. <laughs> so we can assume that Borfrey might find him. They might find him. They might not. We just left him in there. Alright, so where are we at? Um, this is a good enough place as any. That's why that didn't... Uh, the Veloth Ancestral Tomb thing didn't darken for us the last time. Because we had quests to do. So we still have to go somewhere, don't we? Do we have any? What do we have left? A hireling for House Telvani. I don't know where that is. And then that one. So we only have two. Uh, I just want to see where this where this one actually is. Show on map. Oh, Sadrith Mora. Is that? Where where was that? Because that seemed like that was here, wasn't it? Oh, right there. Okay. Right, 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 right. Um, but we haven't gone into wherever the heck we ended up. There we are. I don't think we've ended up in this. Oh, we went through. Didn't we? Okay. Um, so I'm guessing the only place to go now is, is that way. Now, I could have sworn that I came across some other quests on my way there. I could be wrong. 
I've played so much. Okay, so how close are we to a way shrine, right? Where we're at now. Not too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get to one way shrine, travel to another, and then we're going to end it for the day. Ah, cliff racer! No! No, no, no. Run, 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 run. Is it still following? Yes. And I'm probably going the wrong way, but I don't want to have to fight this stupid thing. Whoa. Uh, so I'm just trying to get, get us from point A to point B. So I don't want to stop and fight. I want to try to avoid the battles if possible. It's getting late. All right. The nicest way shrine, we are going to go to Molegmar. All right. Okay. Um. Okay, that's just a person. I know, kind of like, duh. But we are going to be... Let's see. Probably should. I mean, I think we're probably all done over there, but I'm not going to take any, any chances. So we'll go there next time, <laughs> which will be Saturday. So that's going to do it, folks, for today. We ran it a lot longer than I was planning, but like I said, I wanted to get us out of that area because I was afraid that if I didn't, it would toss us out. So, we are going to call it for today. <laughs> so, that's going to do it. Let's get our, our girl. And look, we made it to level 30. We only had 20 levels to go before we hit our max level, and then we start working on the champion level which comes after that all right I know sometimes I usually don't pop in when it's like that when it's in the loading screen there we are all right. Well, like I said, that's going to do it, folks. Um, another successful stream. We had a good time. We left an annoying blowhard in the bottom of a well. <laughs> we saved Vivek. Save Vardenfell. So, yeah, I love that Vivek storyline a lot. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, I just hope you had a good time. Um, I know I did. I... I love this game. So doing this is just fun for me. I mean, I hope it's fun for you. Um, and I hope you'll join me on uh, Saturday uh, for my next stream. So that's the way it's going to be unless something comes up, of course. Um, we'll be streaming. Uh, or say I'll be streaming. Uh, every Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Sunday is the day that I stream with Sin. <sighs> I mean Mary. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but. Yeah, that's. Um, so four days for now. I mean, maybe once I get more. Uh, followers and stuff and actually get you know people um, in the stream when I'm actually doing it then you know I may increase um, how many days I stream but for now I think four is good it's more than half a week so <laughs> but anyways thank you again folks um, hope you had a good time and please join me this coming Saturday for our next stream with our girl Raven and uh, we still got 
some work to do left in Vardenfell before we go to our next place. So give me a, you know, give me a follow if you haven't already and then join me for my next stream. So thanks again, guys. Um, I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.